Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Welcome to Shark Week 2025, Episode 3, our grand finale. Wrapping up this incredible week with the absolute kings of the ocean. Not in terms of ferocity, but in sheer mind-blowing size. We're talking about whale sharks, the gentle giants of the deep. Let's turn back the clock to 1828 when British zoologist Andrew Smith first scientifically described what we now know as the whale shark. But just like our tiger shark friends, these incredible filter feeders have been cruising our oceans for millions of years. What's absolutely fascinating is that the fossil evidence suggests whale sharks have remained virtually unchanged for around 60 million years. Talk about some perfect evolutionary design. Breaking down their scientific classifications, we start with the domain Eukaryota, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Contrictes, Order Correctolobiforms, Family Rincondontidae, Genus Rincodon, Species Rincodon Hypus. And man, that's another mouthful. The scientific name Rincodon Hypus comes from the Greek words rhinos, meaning nose, and odon, meaning tooth, referring to their distinctive snout and tiny teeth. They're the sole members of their genus and the only living members of their entire family, making them truly unique in the shark world. Now here's where things get absolutely mind-blowing. Well, sharks are not just the largest sharks. They're the largest fish in the ocean. We're talking about animals that can reach lengths of up to 60 feet and weigh as much as 60 tons. Put that in perspective, that's longer than a school bus and heavier than most semi-trucks. But here's what's really incredible about their growth patterns. There's a massive difference between males and females. Males tend to max out around 26 to 30 feet in length, while the females continue to grow to an average of 39 to 47 feet. The largest confirmed individual measured a staggering 61.7 feet long. This means the absolute giants of the whale shark world are almost always females. And there's a very good reason for that, which we'll get into later. These magnificent creatures grow incredibly slowly they don't reach sexual maturity until they're around 17 years old for males and 19 to 22 years old for females. But here's the kicker. They can live for over 100 years. Recent studies using radiocarbon dating from atomic bomb tests have shown that some whale sharks may live up to 130 years or more. Despite being absolutely massive, whale sharks are the ultimate gentle giants. Their feeding behaviors is nothing short of spectacular. These sharks are one of the only three filter feeding shark species in the world, and they've perfected this technique like no other. Picture this, a whale shark swimming along with its massive mouth wide open, up to five feet across, filtering thousands of gallons of water every hour. Their mouths contain over 300 rows of tiny pointed teeth in each jaw. These teeth are completely vestigial. They don't use them for feeding at all. Instead, they rely on specialized filter pads and gill rakers that act like a massive mesh filter. What are they filtering for? Tiny plankton, fish eggs, small schooling fish, and krill. We're talking about creatures smaller than your fingernail, feeding one of the largest animals on earth. They use two main feeding strategies, passive feeding, where they simply cruise along with their mouths open, and active suction feeding, where they'll actually gulp massive amounts of water and prey. Well, sharks are incredible travelers and their migration patterns are some of the most fascinating in the marine world. These gentle giants undertake massive journeys across the entire ocean basis, following food sources and seasonal patterns that scientists are still working to understand. One of the most spectacular phenomena is their seasonal aggregations. Every summer, hundreds of whale sharks gather in specific locations around the world, off the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, around Ningaloo Reef in Western Australia, near the Maldives, and in the waters around the Philippines. These aggregations happen when massive plankton blooms or fish spotting events create an all-you-can-eat buffet for these filter feeding giants. The aggregation off Mexico's Isla Hobux is particularly incredible. We're talking about 400 to 500 whale sharks gathering in one area. Scientists have tracked individual sharks making round trip journeys of thousands of miles, with some traveling from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to the Caribbean and back again. Here's where whale shark biology gets absolutely mind-boggling. Despite decades of research, whale shark reproduction remains one of the ocean's greatest mysteries. Scientists have never observed whale sharks mating in the wild, and no birth has ever been recorded. But recent discoveries have been absolutely game-changing. In 2024, researchers in the Galapagos made an incredible observation. 
up to 98% of whale sharks visiting their waters are pregnant females. This suggests that the Galapagos might be serving as a crucial maternity area for the giants. Here's what we do know. Whale sharks are ovoviparous, meaning the young develop inside eggs within the mother's body until they hatch. When one pregnant female was examined, scientists found over 300 developing pups inside her. Pups are born to live around 16 to 24 inches long. So here's the mystery. Only about 40 to 50 whale shark pups have ever been found in the wild. Scientists believe there are secret nursery areas where young whale sharks spend their first few years of life growing from tiny 16 inch pups to the 10 to 12 foot juveniles we typically see. Finding the nursery areas, one of the holy grails of marine biology right now. Whale sharks are like living coral reefs. They create their own mobile ecosystem wherever they go. Their massive size and gentle nature make them perfect hosts for a variety of marine hitchhikers. You often see remora fish, also called sucker fish, attached to the whale sharks. These fish use specialized suction discs to attach themselves, get a free ride, while feeding on parasites and scraps. The perfect example of symbiosis. Remoras get food and transportation, while the whale shark gets a cleaning service. Small schooling fish often swim alongside whale sharks, taking advantage of the protection their massive size provides. Even seabirds have learned to follow whale sharks, diving down to feed on the same plankton blooms that attract the sharks. What's also really cool is how other marine predators react to whale sharks. Despite their massive size, whale sharks are completely harmless and seem to have a calming effect on the environment. Divers regularly report seeing typically skittish species behaving more boldly around the whale sharks. Whale shark ecotourism has become a massive industry worth hundreds of millions of dollars annually and it's becoming one of our greatest conservation tools. Countries like Mexico, Australia, Maldives, and the Philippines have realized that whale sharks are worth far more alive than dead. The success story in Mexico is particularly inspiring. The whale shark aggregation area off the Yucatan Peninsula is now strictly protected, with regulated tour operators providing sustainable viewing opportunities. Local communities that once relied on fishing have transitioned to whale shark tourism, becoming some of the species' greatest protectors. In Western Australia, the whale shark tourism industry at Ingaloo Reef generates over $20 million annually for the local communities. Strict guidelines ensure that interactions don't disturb the sharks, limited number of swimmers, no touching, and maintaining proper distances. These success stories show that when done right, ecotourism can provide powerful economic incentives for conservation. The key is ensuring that tourism activities are sustainable and that local communities benefit directly from protecting these magnificent creatures. Despite their massive size, whale sharks face serious threats in our modern oceans. Chip strikes are becoming an increasingly dangerous problem. Recent research published in 2024 shows that climate change is pushing whale sharks into new areas where shipping traffic is heavy, potentially increasing ship strike risk by 15,000 fold in some regions. Many whale sharks already show scars from vessel collisions. In Ingaloo Reef in Australia, researchers have documented numerous individuals with propeller scars and other vessel-related injuries. As these gentle giants spend time at the surface filter feeding, they're particularly vulnerable to fast-moving boats and ships. Fishing threats are equally serious. Whale sharks are caught as bycatch in fishing operations, targeting other species, and in some regions they're still hunted directly for their meat fins and oil. Their slow growth and late maturity make them particularly vulnerable to overfishing. Pollution is another major concern. As filter feeders, whale sharks consume massive amounts of water and everything in it, including microplastics, chemical pollutants, and other contaminants. They're essentially living barometers of ocean health. Whale sharks are currently listed as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, otherwise known as the IUCN list with populations declining by an estimated 50 to 75 percent over the past 75 years. This classification reflects serious threats these gentle giants face across the global range. However, there are encouraging conservation developments. More than 20 countries have now implemented legal protections for whale sharks, including complete fishing bans and marine protected areas in critical habitats. The Convention on International Trade and Endangered Species has also listed whale sharks restricting international trade. Satellite tagging and genetic research are providing crucial insights into whale shark movements and population structure. 
helping scientists identify critical habitats that need protection. Photo identification databases using their unique spot patterns like fingerprints are helping researchers track individual sharks across a vast distance and understand their life histories. International cooperation is crucial to see sharks migrate across multiple national boundaries. Regional agreements and conservation initiatives are working to coordinate protection efforts across the entire ocean basis. Modern technology is revolutionizing whale shark research. Satellite tags revealing migration routes, underwater ultrasounds are helping scientists study reproductive biology in ways never before possible. Even smartphone apps are allowing citizen scientists to contribute whale shark photographs to global identification databases. Genetic research is uncovering population structures and helping scientists understand how different whale shark populations are connected, and this information is crucial for developing effective conservation strategies. Acoustic tracking is revealing previously unknown behaviors like deep diving patterns that can take whale sharks down to depths of over 6,000 feet, far deeper than anyone previously imagined these surface feeding giants could go. The whale shark stands as one of the ocean's most magnificent and mysterious creatures. From their incredible size and gentle nature to their role as ocean wanderers connecting marine ecosystems across the globe, these gentle giants embody everything that makes our oceans extraordinary. Their story is both inspiring and sobering. While we've made tremendous progress in understanding and protecting whale sharks, they still face serious threats in our rapidly changing oceans. Climate change, shipping traffic, fishing pressures, pollution all pose challenges to their survival. But there's real hope. The success of whale shark ecotourism shows that people around the world are fascinated by these gentle giants and willing to support their conservation. Local communities are becoming protectors rather than threats. Scientists are unlocking their secrets with new technology, and international cooperation is creating protected corridors for their epic migration. As we continue to explore and understand our oceans, whale sharks remind us both the wonder and responsibility that comes with sharing our planet with such incredible creatures. These gentle giants have survived for 60 million years, but their future depends on our actions today. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through Shark Week 2025, from the powerful tiger sharks to these gentle giants to the sharks on the reefs. We've explored the incredible diversity and importance of these apex predators and filter feeders. Ocean sharks need our protection now more than ever, and every one of us can play a role in ensuring these magnificent creatures continue control our seas for generations to come. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep protecting our incredible ocean world.